Hi everybody and welcome to the XYZ of betting. I'm Kevin Ferguson, the money man, Oliver Keohane, the money boy. I got Shakes Rampetti, nobody's boy. The man. Yeah. I'm good now, you guys. Yeah, not too bad, man. It's a bit, bit warm in Cape Town today. Okay, not nice. Very nice, right? Well, I'm more of a northern hemisphere guy, so I, I like the snow and that frozen tundra. <laughs> Uh, look, I mean, in, in, in up here in, in, uh, in Johannesburg, it's, it was raining quite a lot last night um, throughout into this morning, early morning. But now the, the, the day is much better right now. So it's not too bad, but the, the weather tends to fluctuate. It just Yeah, and little, it's kind of like Arsenal. Eh? Sorry about you guys going out of the FA Cup. Funny enough, Kevin, I actually I actually view that very differently, funny enough. I'm actually as an Arsenal fan, I'm happy that they're out. As a someone who just watches the game, I think I think there's positives to Arsenal being knocked out of the FA Cup. It's like United getting knocked out of the Champions League. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't know if that's one of the positives for United. Well, I don't know, the Premier League's kind of just gone like <laughs> No, the thing is, the thing is with United, like I said before, I want to judge them when Europa League is back because that schedule is kind of hectic. Yeah. But with the, with regards to Arsenal being knocked out of the FA Cup, it's uh, there's only two competitions that Arteta needs to focus on now and, and try go high up the league as far as possible and see if he can try win the Europa League. But the FA Cup, I think, yeah, I think it's okay that it's out and it's another schedule that is out with already a congested scheduled fixture list. Yeah. Look, they're only six points out of a Champions League league play. So I, I you know, it's, I know that they came in for, for a fair amount of criticism on uh, with, Fra with Frank, Frank LeBeouf and uh, the, the so-called experts at ESPN. Um, and that they, but uh, I, I see the benefits of not playing more soccer because, like, like you say, it's, it's just relentless. Um, yes. They do have Southampton again this week. Uh, which will be an interesting fixture, and let's get let's get into that because the over the season, Ollie is in the lead with eighty one <laughs> predicted uh, predict correct predictions. I'm at eighty, and Shakes the soccer experts at, at seventy nine. You got the whole country cheering for you, Shakes. Wait, wait, am I wait? Did I hear that right? I'm I'm at seventy nine. You at eighty, and then there's eighty one. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, well, look, it's a close title race, and. Look, it's not a it's not a sprint; it's a marathon, and um, we'll see as to what happens. Just like City, City are coming in very late within the. Well, whatever you say, Captain Cliche. <laughs> <laughs> Watch till the end of the season. We still got like I think another is it seventeen rounds to go, or? Well, Arsenal have Arsenal have nine uh, have twenty. Twenty yeah. games. Oh no, no, Arsenal have nineteen games. Yeah, there's, there's still there's still more fixtures to go, and we'll see as to the predictions. How do they do then? Yeah, touch touch wood, but I mean we've got our first full round of fixtures happening this week in a while. You know, uh, no no makeup games, ten ten games, or return fixtures too, which hopefully gives us a little bit more um, a little bit more sort of insight into how the games are going to go. But you know, like we've seen, you never really know. Um, but yeah, at least there's some kind of form guide to follow. Uh, we are also now past the halfway mark in the season, so you know we're into that second half of that marathon. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this week's games. I think it's. I think they're going to be really good. Let's get straight into it then. Uh, tomorrow is it tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, tomorrow. We have Crystal Palace up against West Ham. Look, uh, Wolford Zaha is, I think, still going to be out. For, for that match, which is which is huge for them. Um, West Ham, historically, they have won seven. Uh, Crystal Palace has won six, I think. Uh, I reckon West Ham is a better coach side. Um, been liking kind of what I've been seeing from them in terms of how they play. So uh, I think West Ham to win 2-1. Um, and I think there's, there could be decent value betting on them at 2.35. Well, how do you feel about Crystal Palace, West Ham? Uh, Crystal Palace West Ham, very interesting game. Um, we did see the last game that Crystal Palace played against Manchester City. They were a run over, and I think they can be a very hard team to beat. But without Wilfred Zaha, they're a very t different team, and he was out due to injury. So, depending on whether he's back for the West Ham game or not, um, I think that's going to play a big role. But as for West Ham, 
We hear he, we hear he, we're hearing that he's out, Shakes. If he if he is out for that game, then I'm gonna have to side with with, with Oliver here and say I think two point three five to West Ham is actually a really good bet. Straight win. Um I think they are finding form, they're hard to beat, haven't lost their last five games as well. I think David Moyes has something good happening there. Uh yeah, I have to agree. Um West Ham have, 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 have looked good this season. Uh, started off a bit shaky, but uh, pulled themselves together. A yeah, win will take them, I think, into third third or fourth place on the Premier League, into Champions League position, dare to dream. Um, without Saha, um, Crystal Palace don't really offer much up front, so I'm going to go with a, with a 2 nothing win to West Ham. My result, I probably would say, I would, I would say two one to West Ham. Okay. Um, Newcastle Leeds. Well, I mean, yeah, Leeds, Leeds cleaned them up. I think what five two in the in the last game. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're going to be making any bet, both teams to score, I think looks like the solid one that's valued at one point six three at the moment. Um, you know, both teams definitely have the capability to score, but both teams also just leak goals the whole season. So, um, yeah, I reckon there will be a few goals going, but I think Leeds will pull will pull away a win. I think maybe three one to Leeds. What say you, yeah, Shakes? I mean, um, I have to agree with with with, with uh, Oliver in terms again in terms of who yeah. is going to win this the, who is going to win this tie because. There's no hope for Newcastle really at this current moment. The fans are against um, what's going on at Newcastle. They're not playing really well. I watched the game against um, Newcastle and Arsenal, and they were just so they were just so poor. There was just no effort, no fight, no and even quality as well. Look at that part. I don't think it's good enough. And um, I think I'm gonna go because even lead straight win on Betway is 1.90. Mm-hmm. I definitely would say leads straight win. I would say three, one again. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, leads to me sort of sputtering, but uh, you know, I, for me, I just wanted them to to solidify their place in the Premier League this year as a big Leeds fan. Um, Newcastle, I can't remember. I think the last time they scored was in a draw or something like that. Um, they've lost. You know, they've got one point out of the last fifteen possible points. And uh, definitely trending down. Yeah, Leeds are always capable of putting a few. I mean, they've, they 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 put in a few and they give up more than a few. <laughs> so, but I, I like them to win this game two, two to three one, two nothing or three one. So I'm going to go with Leeds on this as well. You've told me to pick one score before, so it's only fair that you pick three one. nothing, <laughs> three nothing Leeds, three one Leeds. Sorry. You're right, Ollie. <laughs> look, look at that. Getting chastised by a generation Z. I've heard it all now. There we go. <laughs> um, West Brom versus Man City, probably the easiest pick of the of the week of the week. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say four nothing Man City. West Brom have been woeful. Woeful. You yeah. know, Man City, I think that the, the, the top scorer this year is Raheem Sterling with five goals. Mm. So they're doing it uh, they're doing it unconventionally. They don't have any runaway, uh, you know. And, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, though, is, is now out with a, with, a, with a hamstring tear. They said four to six weeks. And I must say, you guys might laugh at me, but I just, I've just got a bad feeling about this, this, um, this game. I feel like it's one of those games that someone adds into their multi-bet. They're like 10-leg accumulator and everything comes off except the Man City result. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, I think... I'm, I'm going to say Man City 1-0. I don't think they're going to win super comfortably, um, but I think there is the off chance that there's some kind of upset, whether it's a draw or West Brom win. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still back Man City with a 1-0 win, but I don't think it's going to be as comfortable as, as people are expecting. Yeah, I, I, think the, I think there could be 11 guys in the Man City side with torn hamstrings and they'd still win. But, uh, I mean, Big Sam's got his work cut out for him, huh? <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, that's, 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 uh, I would also would agree with Oliver again. Oliver, I don't know you can <laughs> read my notes. You can go first next but, time, uh, Shakes. Are you guys dating or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, no, I, I don't know if he's, if he's been reading my notes or if I WhatsApp it, WhatsApped it to him. If you, though this West Brom side, is, there's something different about them. Even when they lost against West Ham, they still put on a good fight. Um, they went away to Wolves and they got that crucial win. And I also do think City as well, without Kevin De Bruyne, you could see that there was, they found it very late to break down Aston Villa eventually. But eventually they did. And I also do not see uh, Man City scoring a lot in this game. And I can actually see a valued bet here on Betway. Mm-hmm. And under 2.5, under 2.5 in the game is 2.49. That's, a, that's not bad. I mean, under 2.5, if, yeah. if City just win 2-0, then it's great. You know, so I think that's something that someone can throw in if they wanted to. Uh, but to, to predict the result, I would say Man City 2-0 only. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, that takes us to Southampton Arsenal. Shakes, we're not going to agree on this. We're not going to agree on this one, so it doesn't matter. But you, you can go first. I, right, I right, look, listen. Uh, Southampton, very good side, very hard to beat. Uh, they did, they did put on a good show against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Um, but I think this time around, Arsenal have managed to pick up good form. I also do feel that the result in the FA Cup does not show the full reflection of the picture because Arsenal did not feel their their best 11. And I think Arsenal are going to feel their best 11 this time around. I think Southampton will be fatigued a little bit. And I think Arsenal win this game 2-1. I'm, uh, I'm going to go on the converse. I think Southampton would have will be going off nice momentum from the FA Cup win. You also look at the fact that Aubameyang set to not to not play, um, which is huge for Arsenal. <coughs> you know, he is their sort of... Uh, <coughs> that's their goal capacity kind of lies around him. So I think this is where Arsenal drop points. I don't think they're going to get there four in a row. Um, and I reckon it's going to be 2-1 to Southampton. Well, we're all on three different results because I like the draw in this game. <laughs> I think Let's that... Yeah. one all, none all. Um, one 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 Very likely. Now, the Frank Lampard Cup, I call this, because... <laughs> I, I, I think Frank Lampard is hanging on by a thread at Chelsea. And they're playing Wolves. Mm. Uh, I, like, I like Chelsea to win this game. Uh, surely they have to win this game. Uh, they've got so much to play for. Um, yeah. Wolves have, have, have flattered to deceive. They've sold a lot of players. Uh, I like Chelsea to, to, to come right in this game 2-0. Yeah, I'm going to be going 2 nothing as well. They lost on the, uh, you know, the first picture against Wolves. And since then, Wolves have, I mean, Wolves have just been, like we've said, just not a good side. Uh, a lot more riding on this for Chelsea. So I think comfortable 2 nothing win at home for them. Well, uh, guys, we're going to have another different result on this one. Um, I, think, I think with regards to Chelsea, they do have a stronger squad, I think. Wolves have also been inconsistent, but because of how Chelsea's form is in the Premier League and not FA Cup, because FA Cup, they're playing teams that are, they are far superior than them. Um, so I will say this game will end 1-1. Okay. 